<laughs> Theo, you're awake. Am I? I'm skeptical. I had ma a messed up nightmare. Yeah, about that. Wait. Oh, yep. The score mill all coming back to me now. That actually happened. <laughs> Thanks for getting us out of there. I'm glad we're in it together. I don't know if I could have done that alone. Clearly this isn't a normal mountain. What's really going on here? Should have told you sooner. Back at the old ruins, a part of me escaped from a mirror. A part I'm not very proud of. I swear I dreamt it. You think the mountain made her real? Yeah. She's been haunting me the whole time. She lashed out at Mr. Hoshiro. I think she was the reason the gondo gondola st stalled out. She was there in the temple. Why didn't you say something? I wouldn't have gone into the temple if I knew that what this mountain was capable of. I try to stop you. You could have, could have mentioned your demon doppelganger was on the loose. Come on, Theo. You know how crazy this sounds. I didn't even believe myself. Okay, okay. I understand. Next time, just talk to me, though. I promise I'll believe you. Okay. Why is it so easy for you to trust me? Seriously, you barely know me. Honestly? You remind me of my sister. That's adorable. I, okay, I'm liking what this game is going for so far, honestly. She's like... Oh, you'd love her. Actually, you might not get along at first, but you'd eventually love her. She's a literal rock star. She's a musician? That's so cool. Okay, she's not literally a literal rock star. Alex is just amazing at everything. She's starting to be a civil rights lawyer. Wow! How do I remind you of her? You both live so deep inside your own heads. Oh. Alex has this amazing internal compass. It's obvious that she'll get where she needs to be. I can see that in you two. I wish I could say the same for myself. Thank you, Theo. For believing in me back there, I mean. Believing in you was the easy part. I wish I could have helped. I was pretty useless, stuck in that thing. You actually helped a lot. Honestly, I couldn't have made it without your support. How long was I out for? Must have been a few hours. Man, what a ride. Tell me about it. <laughs> I like Madeline so much. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> Are you okay? I mean, aside from the existential crisis, yeah. Who do you think built the temple? It looks ancient. It must predate everything else on the mountain. The resort, the ruins, the city. There's a lot of history here. Yeah. This mountain has meant so many things to so many people. I'm starting to understand why that crazy old lady lives here. You ran into her too? What's her deal? I think she's just a mean person. <laughs> Madeline's attitude sometimes, Jesus Christ. But she does seem pretty content living out here. She sounds great. Do you really remind you of her? Are you kidding me? You're the only one who's dead set on climbing this mountain. And you don't even know why? That's a that's classic, Alex. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Why are you climbing the mountain anyways? You're right. I don't even know why. 
I just had to get out of my head. Had to get out of my head. I'm stuck in a circle. You're preaching to the choir here. I've had many a salt destroying day job. Work is fine actually. I just I'm going crazy. I can't stop thinking about dumb crap that doesn't matter. My brain fixates fixates on these stupid things that happened forever ago. I should be over them. None of it even matters. I'm good at keeping up appearances, but the truth is I'm barely holding it together. I'm sorry, that's pretty rough. That's pretty rough stuff. Jesus Christ, why is this game fucking digging deep into me? Okay, that that the thing that Madeline said about um thinking about things that happened forever ago and just ha not having that um get out of your head really fucking speaks to me a lot like jesus christ oh my god that hits deep can i help you're already helping it feels good to say it out loud you don't talk to anyone about it no not really my mom knows I get depressed. And I have panic attacks. Oh my god! 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 Oh, a feeling for a character again. God fucking damn it! It relates so fucking much. God damn it! Fuck. That's about it. Ah. Oh. No wonder you feel trapped. How do you cope with anything? I drink, mostly. And get mad at people on the internet. <laughs> slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Madeline is just all of us deep down. I just drink a fuck ton of tea and I just get mad at people for liking certain things I don't. <laughs> <laughs> God. How about you? What brought you to the mountain? I'm just kind of thumbing around. As usual. I found this new job in Seattle. I thought I finally knew what I was supposed to be doing in my life. But I hated it. So I quit after a week and hopped on a bus to Canada. I just felt this urge to get lost in the middle of nowhere. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I realize how flaky it sounds. It just sounds like you're under a lot of pressure. Not really. Everyone is so patient with me. Though I guess I am putting a lot of pressure on myself. People always think I'm compare comparing myself to Alex, but I swear this that isn't the problem. I'm just worried that I'll never figure out where I'm, out where I'm going. <laughs> Paint this game right now for just digging deep into me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You said you wanted to feel lost. Maybe you should just embrace that for now. Maybe. Would you mind talking about what depression is like? It sucks. Fact! That's a fact! That's a fact! God fucking damn! Yeah, but what does it feel like? Alex struggles with it too. I really want to understand. I can talk about something else if you want. It's like... I'm at the bottom of the ocean. I can't see anything in any direction. It's claustrophobic. Yeah, I feel exposed. I remember feeling normal. But now it feels just out of reach. No matter what I try. Then again, I was probably always messed up. It just took something hurtful to bring it out. There must be something wrong with me. Whatever happened, I'm sure it's not your fault. I guess I thought that I could. I don't know. I'm just floating in this abyss, swimming in a random direction. Hoping that I find something. That's really why I'm here. 
thought I can't escape myself. I'm literally fighting myself the entire way. Maybe this is all pointless. Madeline, you just saved my life. That's not pointless. Yeah. Look, you're a good person. You're a little intense, but you're a good person. I think you're just trying to push out of that rut you're stuck in. And that's a totally legit reason to climb a mountain. The, the mountain. Maybe. That's helpful. This part of you that's haunting you, maybe she comes with the territory. So you think I'm stuck with her forever? Well, she's stuck with you, too. That's not helpful. So you want to destroy this part of you? Wouldn't that hurt you, too? If, she, if, if I don't, she's just going to keep bullying me. She, she says she's protecting me, but that's obviously not true. Maybe she thinks she is. She could be some kind of twist defense mechanism. Honestly, who cares? She has so much control over me. I hate it. Maybe you could learn to control her instead? The feather helps a lot. Thanks for teaching me that. Just one of my grandpa's many nuggets of wisdom. Are you close to your grandpa? Yeah, I was. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. That's just how it is. All I can do is stay positive. And live a meaningful life. Because that's what he would... I'm so sorry, Theo. Thanks. What did you learn from your grandpa? So much stuff. Actually, he is the one who told me about Celeste Mountain. Maybe he said that this place changed his life. After I quit my job in Seattle, I realized how close I was to it. I felt like he was telling me to come here. Grandpa said that the mountain was special. Do you think he went through the temple, like us? Do you think he understood the power of the mountain? He never talked about what happened here. I doubt your grandpa would have messed up as me. The experience was probably less violent. He found a mountain before I was born. I don't know what he was like before that. I wonder what he learned about himself here. You know what? I want to remember this night. Let's take a selfie. I thought you'd never ask. <gasps> That's a special image. That's such a special image. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, I love that. That's adorable as fuck. Oh my god. That's... Oh my god. That's such a special image. Jesus Christ. Ah. You know, despite everything, I feel pretty good right now. Wait a second. You're going to reach the summit tomorrow. Don't jinx it. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm ready to put this all behind me. I'll be cheering you on. We should get some sleep. Okay. Good night, Theo. Thanks for being cool. What can I say? It comes naturally. <laughs>